Ladies and gentlemen, gals and pals, holes and poles, welcome back. I am your host, the Armchair Grump, and I'm bringing you a, a new game. I started streaming it last night uh, when I wasn't feeling well, so I was off mic for that one. Um, sorry about that. Uh, the character creation part maybe wasn't as nearly as entertaining. I apologize. Uh, there was quite a bit of stuff. I actually really like it. it this... So I know I, I think something about this. Um, I know a little bit about D and D. I used to have a Dungeons Masters book simply because of the art in it when I was younger. It was about dragons. It was the Dungeon Master Guide for Dragons, um, named dragons, and just having a whole bunch of stats and information. Simply because I uh, the dragons were cool. But I read a lot of information in there. So. Um, I think Pathfinder is also based on the same D6 rule. I think it was also either made by similar people. I always knew, I always thought there was a connection for Pathfinder and D&D. I, I thought, I always thought Pathfinder was like D&D. D&D has different, has like Neverwinter and has different places or like campaigns and names. I thought Pathfinder was one of them, but I don't think it is. I, there was always a connection. I think Pathfinder just kind of came out of D&D after um like there's a relative like a relation connection um but i always thought there was a, con a connection um there's a lot of similarities uh they have things like i i think i think dnd has tieflings they have a lot of the same things they have you know of course elves orcs um a lot of the similar creatures they've got uh uh they got a lot of um yeah, they got a lot of a lot of uh, they have a lot of similarities, but I always thought Pathfinder was part of D and D. It could be, I don't know. Like I said, I don't I don't know all those. I'm learning some. I'm playing a lot of more Warhammer lately, um, and I'm playing some D and D games, and I'm playing some like I'm playing a lot of uh, what else am I playing? I'm playing a lot of um, well, I've been playing a lot of 40k stuff lately too. So I know 40k is not part of D and D and that stuff but i just mean like i'm a lot of those things i'm getting more into those and finding out more about them things that i just haven't i was a big magic the gathering pokemon kid but i didn't have the uh, a lot i didn't do a lot of the other stuff so i did play a little bit of D, &D but i didn't know like there's there's just so much stuff but i think in the 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 game space i think pathfinder i think there might have been a relative connection or it came from some of the similar people that created it or it just came from the same D6 rule, the you know the same um, tabletop gaming. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons uh, created a certain way to play, and a lot of people use that system. And I think Pathfinder came to relatively after it. Um, that or they have, like I said, a rough connection between each other somehow. Um, similar to like Magic: The Gathering was going to be a card game for D and D. They that's originally what they tried to propose it as the D, D guys didn't want it so they went ahead and made basically quote unquote a knockoff of D. &D. they had a lot of similarities si similar to what i'm seeing in pathfinder i'm not saying it's a knockoff i'm not trying to get anyone butt hurt um but uh, what I'm, there's just a lot of similarities like in uh the original magic the gathering there's a lot of you know the, the, the same they had a, a lot of orcs and elves and a similar magic and appear and looks and um a lot of the creatures and uh all that kind of stuff uh, it was really it, it wanted to have that same feel as Dungeons and Dragons and card game. Um, I, I'm liking this so far. I loved the character creator. It was very it's very hard, especially as a new person. I've done character creation stuff before when it, not just video games, but like for a D and D thing and other things. Uh, I saw there was a, a Gloomhaven. I played Gloomhaven before with a friend. Um, I saw there's a video game coming out for that. I'm not gonna get it right away, but there's is a Gloomhaven game coming out. Um, it's not super expensive. It's not a full $60 game. Um, it's got, uh, it's like 20 bucks for, or 20 or $25 for the base game. And then like $45 to get all the DLC that's going to come out in the future with it. Like the game and season pass all together kind of thing. Um, so, uh, but I've, you know, I played like a character creator and putting your stats in and stuff. I don't know if I made a great character or not. I like it. I always, this one doesn't have the kind of character, um, I wanted like a dryad or like a character that was like a forest person with an animal companion. What I did find was what they called a cavalier. Like I wanted somebody that was like a dual, like a kind of a foresty person that was like a dual wielder, like maybe like a knife, like an either two two swords and a, like a knife and a a knife and a sword. 
kind of thing. I couldn't, I didn't see, like, it might be in there somewhere, but I couldn't find a bonus for dual wielding yet. Um, I'll keep looking, um, but there's just so much, there's so much stuff. Um, maybe there is a bonus. I might have to, I might have to do some Googling in the future. Um, but it's kind of fun to just kind of play, like, as a, as a person. I am playing on normal difficulty. I've played Divinity 2, and I've played quite a bit of, not quite a bit, I should say, but I played, uh, uh, like, 20 or 30 hours of Divinity 2, and it's not nearly as difficult. Divinity 2's system is very, like, you're trying to get, like, positioning and combos by blowing, like, having two people's attacks hit in a certain order so that you get special, like, certain damage amounts, because um, I was trying to play Divinity 2, and man, was it difficult. I had to put it down to the lowest difficulty for me. But I also think I might have made a bad party combination. I was also using, like, human characters and a dead character. And at the beginning, I had no idea that healing dead characters with... Help, like, there was, like, in this game, it, which made sense now, I mean... Uh, and this game also has a similar effect as Divinity 2, where if you use a healing item on a person with a negative, if it has a positive and it's a negative, so it's a, if it's a, if it's a, it's a vampire character or a half-dead character, then if you use a healing potion, it's going to uh, hurt them instead of heal them. Uh, you're going to need some other kind of healing. And, and uh, what was it? Um, and, and Divinity 2, you would use poison to heal dead characters and poison would hurt human characters and healing would hurt dead characters you could use it like a poison file and healing would obviously heal humans so um so there's a lot of things that i'm learning along the way but it would also it also meant i had to constantly store up uh i had to constantly store up on i didn't know it and i was constantly running out of uh, healing items for my dead character, my my death character. I love the death character. He was cool. He was funny. Um, he had a weird alignment, though. I also think of my alignments were kind of everywhere in characters, and so like it was kind of hurting the party. Maybe I'm not sure, but um, like I I just didn't have much experience. This one's difficulty is a little more straightforward, I think, when it comes to it. So the normal difficulty is doing good. I'm also getting a lot of healing items. So I'm trying to make my character kind of straightforward melee at the moment. I was I'm hoping there's more uh uh par, uh hor more uh creatures I can recruit. I wanted to go with the raptor, but I wanted also want I wanted to go with something big. I wanted like an owl bear or something. I know that's like a D and D thing, but I wanted an owl bear or some sort of magical creature. But there really wasn't. There was there was some cool stuff. They had dinosaurs and mammoths, but I don't know. I wanted something more magical. There wasn't many magical creatures. They had like a. They had lit. They had really normal creatures. But so, I mean, I, I, maybe I should have gone with the Triceratops. I think I should have gone with the Triceratops. Triceratops, the Tiefling and Triceratops. That would have been cool. I think I should have gone with that. Maybe in the future I'll go with that. Um, but unfortunately, I decided to go with the, the bear because I thought the bear was cool. I wanted to go with like a owl bear or something, but there wasn't one. So. Yeah, I really like owl bears. I just like the face. They're cool and they're big. So, um, uh, just something from I like the I like the look of them. I was hoping for some more magical creatures when I went through it, but I couldn't find one, really. Um, and I wanted kind of like a, um, or I was just even if it wasn't a big creature like an owl bear, I was hoping for something. I don't know something cool like a little more fantastical, but um, unfortunately, I just couldn't find anything. Um, but I'm liking it so far, the story even. Uh, I went with... I'm trying to be, like, a, a neutral good character and not, like, a lawful good or, like, a like like really high. And uh, I did go with w Windwog so far, which seems she seems to be chaotic evil or chaotic nu or neutral evil. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, but I'm hoping she can be... So far, the game's given me lots of hints that you can make cho like you have lots of choice like a lot of these games do so I'm wondering if maybe I can persuade her or she might have a redemption arc or something and I'm really hopeful about that but, but I like Windowog's character I, I, I just I kind of like it a little bit more than Lands. give me one second
if I'm talking, I should probably check to make sure my mic's coming through here. Let's see. Am I coming through? Okay, it's coming through good. Alright, um... I don't know. I kind of like having... But, uh... I, she... I kind of wish she was a little bit more neutral. I don't know. Uh... She's a little bit more on the evil side than I want, but I also... I'm not gonna lie. I wanna... She's kind of... I like I like her. I like her look. Now, that's her... I, she's like a a, a, da a vampire. Or va well, I don't know. She looks like she's like half like her skin and stuff. She looks like she's half vampire, half something. But she's also got those mutated spider things on her back. I like her look. I like her look. I like her a little bit more of her character. Um, I don't know, but I hope she can be slightly changed, even if it's more towards like just uh uh um. I don't know, like a neutral neutral, like maybe. You know, just kind of, kind of less pessimistic towards the middle. But anyways, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. Then from there, there's a lot of things I like for it so far. But I also like having we have we seem to have a lot of goody two shoes on the team. Um, I don't know. It, it seems like there's a little bit of a negative. Um, I don't know how the one character's aligned the fencer lady. Uh, she chose me. Cho said to go with Windowog. Um, instead of Lan. Lan's just... I wish they had... I wish both of them had a little bit of a moral gray area. Like, obviously, he was a little bit more of a... Of a lawful character, maybe. But maybe he was... I don't Is there... I don't know how the alignments quite work. So, there's lawful good. I wish there was, like, lawful middle ground. Or, like, maybe he would... Like, he's... I want him more middle... I want. I want him to be, like, more lawful middle ground... And I want her to be more chaotic middle ground. Like, you know, like, I want her to, like, kind of, like, be, like, you know, like, kind of a Joker character. But not always, like, um... Like, she kind of, like, flips all over the place. Like, she's a little sporadic. Um, but she's not always towards the demons. You know? Well, I guess she's not always towards the demons. Which is a good thing. But... Alright, so this is where we left off. And I... I the bear... I was afraid we lost the bear earlier. Alright. Hopefully, it says that you can you can get more companion... Um, companions. You can get more pets we don't later, I think. Way. Hopefully. Alright, so we finally got out of the dungeons. But I like having... I like having a little bit of a party. I like, I like... Like having Morgan. Like, that's what I liked about... Uh, what's the game? My, my brain's uh, not de um, Dragon Age Origins, where um, you would get you would get comp you could you would find characters and they would have alignments. You, you know, they would have alignments uh, despite your choosing, I guess. And you kind of had to figure out how to deal with those. Like Mor Morgan isn't quite Windowog. But she was a little bit... I kind of wish she was more of a Morgan. Uh, Morgan. Morgan? Morgan? I kind of wish she was a little bit more like that. Morgan leans towards her where she would... Um, like, she had that same thing where she disliked the... Like, dislikes, disliked certain people and chose certain paths of power and certain, like, evil choices, I guess. But in a neutral way, she wasn't, like, trying to not... Like, she might do them in a good way, she might do them for personal gain, but she might, she's not necessarily trying to do them for evil's sake or something. Um, but she was also a little bit of, I don't want to say she's chaotic. Yeah, she was a little bit of chaotic. She, I guess she would be like a chaotic neutral. Is that is that a good example? I don't know if neutral, I don't know if... I think, new, yeah, new, neutral, yeah, lawful neutral. That's what, I wish it was, there was lawful, I wish they were both lawful, uh, they were both neutral characters. He was like a lawful neutral. Hey, on hands up. I, w I wish that Lan was lawful neutral and she was chaotic neutral. Because I, I could get into that a little bit. Ooh, Irabeth. We got an orc. Irabeth, the half orc before you wearing armor adorned with. I'm not going to be able to say that name. I've heard it said, but it's going to be. 
Yomades, Yomades, Golden Sword is clearly exhausted. She obviously hasn't gotten much sleep over the last few days. There's soot on her face and fresh blood on her sword. Her hazel eyes are hard and focused. And her firm voice sounds accustomed to giving orders. She sizes you up, surprised, judging whether your friend and foe or foe, and opens her mouth to ask you something, but freezes when she spots a Nivea. Sometimes it, it's it's talking, and sometimes it's not. Oh, is there a romance going on here? Or is this is there a friendship? Not sure. By the goddess, Nevi, I I'd almost lost all hope. Everything's fine, Beth. I'm here. I'm here. This uh, no, mystery. there's a relationship. She rounded up those of us who survived the fall and led us up to the surface. Without her, we'd never have made it out. Interesting. Human and orc. Lesbians. Let me introduce you to my wife, Arabeth Tirabade, head of the Eagle Watch. Hmm. Until the army arrives, I'm the temporary warden of Canalbris. And you're just in time. As you can see, we're in the middle of a battle. And... Thank you for getting Anevia out of there. Most people in Canalbris think that the children of the First Crusaders are simply a legend. Other people say that the day you emerge on the surface heralds the start of the end of the world. I'm not superstitious. But the situation is apocalyptic, all right. Having a living legend on our side can't hurt. I see you are in serious need of help. You're in luck. If my mistress is with you, then I am with you also. Very good. Report to me in full when we get back to the Defender's Heart. It's our temporary headquarters. Right now, the most dangerous cultists are here. The ones occupying the Grey Garrison. Hey, makes me think of the Grey Wardens. The Grey Garrison. Until recently, it served as barracks for the Crusaders, but it's now been taken over by cultists. The city's gone. Most of the defenders, including the Dragon Terendalev, fell in the first few hours. The civilians either fled or died in the chaos. The place is overrun with cultists and demons. Don't talk like that. Canabras hasn't fallen. Not while it still has defenders like you and me. Sweet words don't change the grim truth. No, she's right. Thank you, Knight. Until we no longer have the strength to hold a weapon, until Iomade abandons us, Iomade. we will fight for Canabras. When the demons attacked the city, their main target was the Wardstone. I trust I don't have to explain to you what the Wardstone is and how important it is to the Crusaders. No, you do. We must retake it at any cost, or the fall of Canabras will be the beginning of the end of the Crusades, and with them, the rest of the world. So apparently, it didn't. It was it, like it didn't keep them out of the city. I see that you had a difficult journey to the surface. You need to rest, but there's a lot riding on this battle. I have no right to command you, but I'm asking you to help us. The Wardstones are a gift of Iomade. Created personally by her herald, a mighty angel, and a general of the Celestial Armies. The Wardstones keep the world wound from expanding. They stand along the border of the territory controlled by the demons, creating a barrier to keep them inside. The Canabras Obelisk was the first to be placed. It is the key to the whole barrier. We cannot leave it in the hands of those monsters from the Abyss. Keep to keep them inside the city, or to keep them inside wherever they were? The demons have long laid siege to Canabras, but this time... Their Lord Descari appeared in the flesh. He ripped the Wardstone from the ground and hurled it halfway across the city to here. I thought the stone was destroyed, but it seems all is not lost yet. Descari has gone, but the Wardstone is surrounded by a horde of those creatures. What are they going to do to it? Nothing good, that's for certain. 
Well, you'd think the ward stone would be repulsing them, but I guess not. I guess it... I mean, if it keeps them out, it keeps them at bay, or keeps them out of the city, why is it not keeping them away from it, you know? But how did he do that? He's a demon! The ward stone should have burned his filthy hide! It should have. But what happened, happened. We don't know why. That's the spirit. You, take Anavia to the rear. The rest of you with me. Okay, so there's something out there called the World Wound. I'm guessing that's where the demons come out of. And it and the city and that stone protect... Okay, I'm getting a little bit better picture. So this city is closest to something called the World Wound where the demons uh, can emerge and come out of. And... Um, I mean, why would you gar? I mean, my my question is, is why garrison people in this town at all outside of like? Wouldn't you want? To, why would you have a town here? Wouldn't you just have a, an a, like a garrison of soldiers? That like, kind of like um, like I used to do in Lord of the Rings, like that uh, not Osgiliath, where that that's the city. There used to be a city, Osgiliath, across or the the river the, the river was. Uh, that went through that they're taking in the the return of the king, but there used to be there used to be posts closer to Mordor, like the gate the Black Gate actually used to have a post on it. I know that's I I think that that might I don't know if that's lore straight from Lord of the Rings, but that I, I think that's technically from Lord of the Ring from like the the, the actual Lord of the Rings lore. I um uh but there used to be there used to be cities closer to it. But as time went on over the thousands of years from, because uh, uh, there used to be elf cities near it and human cities uh, to keep watch over Mordor um, and stuff, then they slowly were, they slowly either became destroyed or eroded over time. And as relations changed and history changed, you know, just history over thousands of years happened. Um but there used to be posts closer, and there was no, like, relative civilians. There was mainly just soldiers there to try and keep watch. Um, but same like Osgiliath, once Osgiliath began to fell, wouldn't you just, wouldn't you just put, post a whole bunch, a garrison of soldiers or, like, an army nearby the world wound with this item instead of civilians? Why would you put a whole town there? Heard labor breathing interspersed with disgruntled muttering. Horgus is holding his rapier hilt. Bird of sweat. Lord Horgus Gworm, forgive me. I did not realize we had civilians among us. My people will escort you somewhere safe. To the extent hey, that he owes me money. Albrus can be said to be safe right now. Uh, no, he owes me money. Two thousand gold. Hey, hey. Get your fat ass back here. Get your fat ass back here. I'm on. The only thing I really dislike for me is my main character seems to talk so much. Though I won't budge, looks like locked from the other side. Like, I do what I must. That! The stupid... I, I want to turn it. You're playing with the auto in turn option. Enable this option allows you to end the turn on Mac the Winter. And move action. Do you want to leave this option enabled? No. I don't remember turning that on. They must have auto turned it on or something. I don't know. I know I messed around. I, I messed around with the. I'll cut you wide open! <laughs> I'd rather just have it do myself. Wait, who did that? Oh, I got I got people. I'm guessing Irabeth will eventually join me. I think Irabeth will join I'll me. Rip you apart! Feels like I should be able to do two actions if I don't move. Really does. 
I need more abilities. Let's get the bear in here. Kind of crowding the doorway. What does this do? Acrobatic mobility. I don't need that. The inheritor guides my blade. Oh, hello. Whoa, there's an army down here. I didn't realize this. Okay, I don't even see you over here. Don't hold back. You're hiding it. Oh, damn it. Well. I don't know if that helps my defense when they're attacking, just in case. Yeah, the, the this feels more like a normal, I don't want to say normal, but this feels more like kind of normally combat versus like um, Divinity, which is very different even for me. I, it's kind of unique in the, the way it works. But when I thought, like, I was trying to, like, I did this on normal because I was like, I don't know. You are today's sacrifice. I was expecting this to be, like, kick-ass difficulty. Like, like to kick my ass difficulty, you know? When I played Divinity, I was... I, I put it on normal for Divinity because I hadn't played a Divinity-style game in a while. And, man, did it... Man, was it hard. Well, shit. At least they're not hitting my characters. Staunton Vein. Two archers. Now we got a lot of extra bonus characters, but I mean, my characters took a wampum on quite a few other things, so I still feel like not knowing what I'm doing. And I'm, I'm this isn't bad. I mean, some obvious encounters are easy, but uh, I don't know. Even my main characters got a little bit of low health. Strike. A dwarf? Why is a dwarf? It's close. I wish... Can I switch weapons? I didn't give her a... I should give her a, a ranged weapon. What are the recruits sitting back for? I just... I, I really like wind dogs. Uh, wind dogs. I'm gonna say wind dog too much. Wind dogs. Look. I think it's at the bottom. Wait, did the bear? What just happened? I'll take care of it. I'm gone. Apparently, I'm pretty heavy. We do it my way. That's what I'm talking about. Just shut up. Sealed with magic. I hope you appreciate Ooh, follow nice. if you dare. Sixty percent. That's it? Oh, maybe 
these are those were good items. Boom, 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 boom. Look like enemies. Lots of enemies. Who's this talking? What's the door? Is somebody going to defect? I, uh, can't. Why is the door underneath? Is he going to def defect? Wait, why is that? Do not waver. Oh, yeah, okay, they were one of the recruits. Ooh, that's a lot of... Who do you think we take out first? Take out the recruit first. Dun, dun, dun. They'll beg me to stop. Damn it! All you needed to roll was a three. That's all you needed to roll. That crystal. That's a weird place to put that crystal. It's like it is blinding. Yes, I stopped shitting. My stomach's my stomach stopped bothering me. Great, I got a whole bunch of guys right here. Go for their hearts! Ugh. Critical hit. Ooh, I got a critical. Your character familiar has landed a crit. And successfully confirm having successfully confirmed it. When a character makes an attack roll and gets a twenty on the D twenty, the attack automatically hits no matter what the target's AC is. Additionally. Such an attack creates a crit critical threat that has to be confirmed by making an additional attack roll. The result is equal or higher than the target's AC. The character successfully lands. Oh. So it's not an auto... Like, I think in D&D, &D, crit critical hits are, like, if you hit a 20, you automatically get a crit. In this one, you get a chance at a crit. If you hit a 20, it automatically hits. Well... It's the highest number possible, so you would think it would automatically hit. I guess you still have a chance to miss or something. But then, um... What's... But then you have a chance at a crit. You have to roll another dice and pass another check to get a crit. Seems like crits are extremely low chance, then. The results, the character just lands crit. If not, the attack remains normal, but still hits. Some weapons and effects allow the character to make critical hits with the d20 roll result. Less than 20 such attacks do not hit automatically. Okay. I like that idea. Yeah, my IBS. Oh shoot, what did I just do? I just clicked something. I'll cut you wide open. Oh, okay. So her turn. You should have run. I hit him for 16. Did I get another 20? I don't know if I got a... It said 20. I don't think it was a crit, though. I kind of wish it would travel along with the arrow to see if it hit my miss or hit my character.
misses. Nice. Ouch. That hurts. What is he doing all the way over here? No match for me. Get him. Oh, dude, where are you going? There's a guy right here. Oh, nice. Oh, shit. Dude, dwarf, dwarf is going nuts. The spirits demand your blood. This will hurt. Oh, all I need to roll is a damn four. Oh shit. Hello. I did not know you guys were hiding there. Suck it. Uh, I don't know about today. Uh, I'll be honest, my stomach's still bugging me a little bit, but um, I told you. Uh, well, what do you. We can play some stuff tomorrow, I guess. Dude, damn. Nine PM your time, right? Which is what about now? That works for me. Oh shit. How much damage did you just do? Wait, the bear killed him though. That works. The inheritor guide my blade. Yeah, I think that. Oh come on, take him out. Yeah. Triple kill. Triple, triple attack. Damn, that's a. Can I get this? Windwag. What? She just took him out? Nice. Yeah, it's almost 4 p.m. right now. Okay, if you switch weapons, it takes up some of your action. Okay, 
I didn't get that, but all right. I thought the switch was free, but I guess not. Into the fray. Yes, I know. Okay, I'm still gonna attack with somebody even if they don't have the right weapon. I can still take damage on them. Can I get this guy? No match for me. Dude, archers are more powerful than I thought they were. Oh, dude, come on. My skills are absolute. I'm off. The blunt object was clear. You just try to break down this door. The lock is broken. I do what I do. What the fuck? Haven. Really damage space impassable. Why were they guarding this way then? Way. Is that the stone? That's gotta be the stone, right? Follow I think that's the dead. ward stone. This really does make me want to play, uh... I wish they would... Well, I don't want them to, but... Um... Because I'm afraid modern day gaming. If the, so far, I like this. If the guys who uh, made this game so far, uh, as long as it doesn't get woke all of a sudden, were to ma uh, do a remake of Dragon Age Origins, that would be great. This gives me a familiar, like, feels similar to Dragon Age Origins. At least. I love Dragon Age Origins. It really had this feel. What the. Wait, wait, wait. Can I go back? Can I go there? I don't. I don't know if it was showing me how my my path backwards was cut off, or if I could jump down there. I need to heal the bear. I got a wound on the bear. That's the rock. Doesn't look like the rock. He's not a uh, slash half black Samoan. Are you telling me that 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 rocks from Samoa? I don't know why the game has you, like, at the very beginning, if you have a companion animal, like, it only has one HP until you finally level up, and then you get, like, some HP. Maybe I had messed up. It had two levels. Maybe I was able to uh, level it up, and I just didn't. What Damn! Do we have guests? <laughs> just in time. The place is a bit of a mess, and I haven't even poured the blood into the goblets yet. I want to make that Why character. You... Oh. Is she a tiefling? What is she? Is she a demon? Dude, I, I, oh no, she's a tea. She does. I can't get her horns though, can I? See, I'm a little upset. There are some care like I want her horns. There was, in the character customization for the tiefling, there was just not many options. I wanted to kind of make my character look kind of something like this. Like, I wanted, I wanted, I wanted uh, piercings, or like, I wanted piercings, I wanted the ears, I wanted horns, kind of like those. She definitely looks like a tiefling, but she might be something else. Minigo. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> she has no eyes, though. Look, what they're just blank. Oh, she's surprise. a demon. She's not a... I still want her horns. My little sweetheart. A long time no see. I've missed you so much. Stoughton? Me? <gasps> that was one of 
You must betray us. The dwarf. Minago, the one who. Be careful. She's one of the deadliest creatures in the whole demon horde. She was once responsible for a massacre in Canabras. She must be back to finish what she started. Does he know me? Staunton, darling. Tell them all how close we were. Ooh. That wench? She's the one who led me astray. She's the reason my life has gone to the abyss. She's the reason why Teresin fell. Those like rat guys? Yeah, those look like rat guys. Oh my. Like butter wouldn't melt. What I remember is how eagerly you would run to our trysts. How you begged to see me again. How you Ooh. promised you'd do anything I asked. By your own free will, you said this. And now you claim that Dresden fell because of me. No, no, my dear. That was entirely your own doing. I just want those horns. My character didn't get cool horns. There was only th like three or four options. Now, Staunton, don't say things like that. Not about these lips, the ones you kissed so sweetly. Staunton, dearest, don't you love me anymore? Remember how good we were together? I was so hoping that we could patch things up. I'll kill you! Oh, she warped out of here. Who's going first? Eh, there's a lot of narrow passages and such. Apricadindaloo. a blah, blah, So it's some sort of rat thing. Cultist. I think they have spears. Mm -hmm. Wizards. Sharpshooter. Let's go for the oh, sharpshooter. Beg me to stop! Damn. All I needed was a two, and you rolled a one. Critical fail. She's gonna be primary target for those rat guys. Hmm. Can I do a charge? Ah, damn it! We're getting failures all around. No! Stop it. Wait, did my armor get sundered? I think it did. Damn it. Healing and combat. Tyrion has HP. Drop below 50. You should cure their wounds. You can regain less HP with spells. Potions resting. Where is my character's HP right now? It's at 15. I think we'll survive, but I need to back her out, I think. Come on, bear. John Yakuza? Why do my guys keep missing? Damn it. These guys are either, like, ridiculously swifty. How could this happen? Did I just get knocked out? What? Might be the first fight I'm going to fail. Smite evil. Which Yakuza are you talking about? I'll cut you wide open. 
open. Dude, my guys, everybody is missing. Stop it. We're gonna get murdered. Wait, did I just lose another person? Wait, why are these guys sitting back? Recruit, recruit. Yeah, what are they doing? Rec recruits, get your ass in here. You're being so waste. You're being useless. No match for me. Ooh. Oh, that was so lucky. Three misses. Ah, dude. Except he got triple hitted. Let's see if we can take out this guy. Come on. There we go. Get somebody gone. This will leave a bruise. I'll just sit here. Don't worry about me. Wait, did I just lose Zelo? I'm confused. Does this work on... who does this... How does, I'm still kind of new here, so I need to figure out how this works. Can I revive the person that's down? Can I, can I revive... I don't think that works. The, what? What? Did it? Didn't work. Okay, I'm a little annoyed. Hey, stay off my bear. Dude, stop getting triple attacks, would you? Oh. Wait, why does it he normally gets a triple attack? We still might be able to get out of this if we get rid of these lower end characters. The spirits demand your blood. Aw oh, dude, he's almost dead. Just let me finish this guy off. Miss. Aha! Stop sundering my armor. Ah, you missed too, sucker. All right, let's attack this guy. I'll rip you apart. Oh, nice shot. There we go. No! Come on, get him. Dude, that was so terrible. Come on, dude. You must have a high... No! Oh, my poor bear. Dude, this fight is taking it out of us. You are today's sacrifice. I lost three characters. Go for their hearts. The world in crimson. I'm sorry, what just happened? Did it? Oh, I, I, her shield will deflect stuff. Dude, nice. They'll beg me to I was like, stop. what the heck just happened? All right, one guy left. We can do this. But we lost three characters. Oh, dude. Oh, we are fatigued. I'm gone. You have the scroll of cure light wounds. Camilla can read it to heal the wounded ally. Tierna scrolls and they contain the spell. To read a scroll, character needs to have levels and class capable of cast. Figure this out real quick. Inventory. Oh, dude, we are at ridiculous. We are overloaded. I didn't realize how much weight we had. Shit. It's time to act. I think that's somehow. I think that's taking. I think that's hurting us. Well, yeah. 
I don't think we've we haven't found anyone to I sell our garbage know. to yet. We, we need to find. Way. Oh, my, my brain's not working. Equipment. So. We should move. Camilla can equip. Conflict moderate. I got so much stuff. Cure light wound. I'm always ready. You can trust me. Mm -hmm. The spirits guide me. only equips one. I thought I would equip all four. Oh, that... See, that's a little annoying. The amount of healing that you get sometimes is so low. I don't, I don't like that it's a dice roll for how much healing you get. We need it. We need a character dedicated towards healing. We have yet to get one. Um, just a second. Action bar. Just have her drink some potions. A bright future awaits us. I don't... I wish these would automatically equip. If I have these slots, every time they empty, I don't like that that they re-empty. Or what, it, like... If I re-equip a potion, just put the damn potion in my inventory slot. And then... Here, um, Camilla... What's on your mind? I wonder... I need you... So I got a wand of healing. See, that actually worked really well. Needs wand of healing on herself. That's the only item I have to heal my bear, so the bear can't drink potions. I'll take care of it. Oh, are those enemies ahead? No, those are recruits. My skills are absolute. Why are we in combat? I am never wrong. We should move. Okay, I don't want this. What's going on? There we go. I wasn't cursed. Follow mode. if you dare. Mobility. I guess that's the. Why do I need a mobility check? Can I go back and check? If it's the way forward, what happens? Like, if, if, if it is the way forward and I don't make the mobility check, there must be another way. Or if I fail the mobility check, it must have an alternate passage that I have to go. The wisps are well protected against magic attacks. However, you can hit them with magic missile. There are so many... 
I guess it's good to have the tutorial on. They kind of like act like a DM. A DM. I would love to have like a path. Do like a Pathfinder or, or uh, D and D. Actually, I probably would play something other than D and D. D and D has gotten so fucked up recently. The fact that they're trying to sue everybody that uses the D six, even though it was an open license for the longest time. Yeah, I don't think I can go back. That's oh, locked. Damn it. I was hoping it means I could drop down there, but I guess not. Um, yeah, so D, is it, so it's Wizards, of, does Wizards of the Coast own D and D? I think it's Hasbro, but I don't know if it's Wizards of the Coast that still runs D and D. I think they used to. They might. I'm not sure. I'm not positive, so I'm not gonna throw Wizards under the bus yet. But I think Hasbro, Hasbro still has D and D. Um, but yeah, the, so the fact that they had an, what's called an open license, so you didn't have, to, so it, they did have, they owned a copyright on it, right? So they still own it, but they said, hey, we have this system, I, which is weird. It's like the D, the D six system. It's kind of like ca po like poker cards. Like there are so poker cards are a thing. Somebody makes and owns poker cards, but then. But then, um, right, but then you use poker cards for different types of games. That's how poker cards work. There's tons of different games you can play with poker cards, but somebody makes and sells poker cards. Or, like, poker cards were, were originally made by somebody, and I'm pretty sure there was a copyright, but poker cards have been around for so long, the copyright probably ran out and is now out there for people to whoever wants to make them i'm i'm assuming um I, I copyright law is really weird um but so D D instead well i don't want to say they said i don't think they should have the right so what they did is said hey if you take a, if you want to play a game and in order to make sure certain things happen um it, it, what you do is you take a dice and you roll the dice kind of like I mean, I don't want to say it is gambling, but, you know, like, there's a chance if you roll the dice, between this and this number, it's a miss. Between this and this number, it's a normal hit. And between this and this number, it's a bonus hit. Or whatever. They have, they made up rules on how you use dice. And I get... It's kind of like making... They made poker cards. They made poker cards. That's what they're... That's what poker cards are. They made, basically... They took dice, which are already a thing. Everyone can use dice. And they made up a way to use the dice, which are what poker cards are. And then they said, they said, okay, we we have these quote unquote poker cards. I I kind of agree they had an idea, they had an idea, but the idea has become so widely. It's kind of like. tissues or so, I don't know how to I don't know how to explain it when it when when something when you when you create a rule or like a rule set and that rule set can be expounded onto multiple things and not only not only that so not only do they make this rule set something that I guess something that you use dice for something that could be applied to many things um, so I don't know how you can copyright something that anybody could just do it, it kind of feels like i get i get the i get the rules but you could kind of twist the rules you could change the rules up just a little bit and say now they're your own version of the rules like say let's say one say say you roll a d20 i don't i know it's d, i think it's d6 but it might be I, I don't know what the technical what it's called i think it's called d6 um but let's say you roll on a d20 let's just say so, so somebody else comes up with the D twenty rules instead of the D six rules or something. I don't know. So you could just modify them slightly, and now you have your own versions of the rules, which I think some game companies did, so that they didn't have to use, so they weren't using Dungeons and Dragons rules. But a lot of companies, similar to how a lot of companies use the 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 um, the Epic Engine, you know, at least the Epic Engine created something from scratch. Mm -hmm. um, the, what I'm saying is they took dice, which is a they took dice and things you can do with dice and created 
quote unquote created something that anyone can do in their own anyways. They took something that wasn't theirs, dice, and now they want to stop people from using dice and doing and using something. And doing something. They even want they, I think they're even trying to stop people from using systems similar to theirs. So okay, so my point is is they created this system with using dice and they what they did is they created something called an open license saying, here is our system now people can use our system if they want. That's what an open license is. So it's kind of like um, uh, uh, copyright, if, copyright free use. So like a lot of people in, in, in like music, there's copy. It's kind of like using copy copyright free music. Somebody creates somebody creates a music, they make make it copyright free, and then people can use it in whatever they want, and and it it kind of brings them popularity and it becomes very popular, and it becomes bring some notoriety. DC, they did something original Original in the beginning. They were very creator-friendly. Um, but then they realized how popular, especially of late, D&D is getting and how popular people are getting off of it. But it is making D&D more popular. It's bringing D&D lots of money. People are buying books, doing character things. Like, D&D is getting lots of press and stuff because of the YouTube channels and everything. But they're greedy and want a piece of the pie of other people creating this content while using their product. They're basically, they're basically commercials for your product that you don't have to pay for, right? People are basically pushing your product in these channels, and there are probably th hundreds, if not thousands, of people watching that then go and buy D and D stuff. You're making hundreds, if not thousands, of sales, most likely, off of these things. And they've got tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, of people watching them. So a lot of their their people are being converted into sales free of advertise no advertisement whatsoever. People are just playing their game, broadcasting it, having fun, and people are then going to go and buy D&D stuff. They need a dungeon master, they need... They need they want D and D stuff. They want D and D characters. They want, you know, they want D and D branded things. They want, the, you know, they want toys. They want D and D models. You know, you want uh, like I people love getting the the characters, the dragons. They like the tabletop stuff. They like they like they they get all a lot of them get buy buy and pay for and get all that stuff, D and D stuff. And then D and D says, well, fuck it, we're greedy assholes, so we're going to not only try and change the copyright, which I don't know if you can do, but they're trying to, or they did, I'm not sure which. Um, they're trying to change it from an open license, which tons of games are already based off of that the, the, the rules that they've created. So there's tons of games based off of this rule, and now they're saying, it's like a trick. I think they would have to be grandfather claused in games already created before when this thing was in open op, open copyright can no can are excluded new games that want to be want to be based off it but I'm not sure it feels like they're saying ah for 20 or 30 years we're saying you can use our product but now we got you in the trap now we're going to change the copyright and say now you owe us money for basing it even though we said one thing and now we're saying another thing so my point is is D and like the people running D and D are assholes and pieces of shit. So not only not only did it's not like someone came along and people were using it without their permission in the long run. They spe specifically or yeah, they specifically said you know they made an open copyright, said people can use their rule set and uh, a lot of people did, you know, like it was, it was basically the rule set was open software, even though I don't know how you can copyright the rules, a rule set to this when it's based off of dices. And I think, like I said, they're even tr trying to get people like certain games, they were trying to sue certain games that had very similar, but specifically different, like they were similar, but they changed certain things, like they changed numbers types of dice, certain things like that. So that, specifically, they were different than D&D, &D, so probably possibly to avoid a lawsuit, maybe they just wanted to be different, uh, maybe the mechanics were, they wanted certain mechanics to be based off of different number sets, I don't know. A lot of different things. Um, but D&D &D is, yeah, it, they've really fucked themselves over. I think Pathfinder, I don't, again, I don't know if D&D &D and Pathfinder are connected, but, um, 
Yeah, there, there's... It, it, it's very stupid. It's very stupid of you to do this. Um, you're, you're, there's so much potential in the free advertisement and everything. And basically then what you could do is D&D could then reach out to these people and be like, hey, we would love to sponsor your show. You know, like, it, like just be like, hey, you, you know, you're already playing D&D. You know, we'll pay you a thousand dollars or something. You know, we'll pay you something. Do like a 30 second ad read for every hour. You know, every hour you play the game, do a 30 second spot read for D&D. Have them be like, we've got these models. We've got these new books. We've got this stuff or or whatever, you know, and then like y there's so much you could do with connecting and creating a community. Like I said, D&D, like Pokemon, Pokemon went through a little lull. And then like during 2000, between 2016 and 2020, I think it, it grew exponentially. The Pokemon card game like became very popular again. Um, I don't know if it was due to nostalgia, due to the, the, the coof, people being locked up and stuff. I, I'm not quite sure. Maybe they had some renovations. Um, but but it became very popular again, too. And D&D, I think, was ex experienced the same thing with YouTube. People were playing it on YouTube, were doing campaigns and tons of stuff. And people were donating and people were doing... You know, people were getting very involved. There was big, like... 30,000, 40,000, 50,000 number of streams and people watching and people like putting tons of money and 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 people like, you know, it was like a actual TV show with people acting and having fun and dressing up and and D&D &D could have gotten so involved in this instead of what their stupid idea was um, their stupid idea was for people broadcasting their game playing their game. They've already paid for their product. Um, yeah, they've already paid for their product. They own it so they can do what they want with it. Uh, when, once you own something, you have every right to do whatever the heck you want with it, um, uh, including profit off of it. So it, just once I paid for your product, it is now mine and I can do with it what I will. And the whole life, and then and then they, they're like and 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 they're, they're like, well, instead of making more money off of this, what we're going to do is say, you can no longer we're going to sue you and no long you can no longer do this unless you give a cut of your profits and then most people said well fuck you we're going to go ahead and switch uh to different games most of them switched to different games uh the only reason it was becoming more popular is because people were playing it and D, D could have capitalized that instead people switched to different games we do a it lot of them way. did so can i talk to stoughton I want to talk to Stout. Can I talk to Stout? No. Follow if you dare. The you know, unholy symbol of Jaskari, the demon lord who attacked Kenabras, drawn in human blood. Sorry, I, I know I went on long about that, but you know, this is what like companies doing stupid things. I and it kind of does reflect upon the product. I mean, they're doing other stupid things, uh, like taking out like this game still has the race component. D and D taking out the race components. Like I have a race pe penal, I have a race penalty to wisdom. I think it was uh, for my character. I have a race penalty to wisdom and something else. And but I also got bonuses. Um, uh, so like I, well, it was, it was a race penalty, but also a bloodline. Like depending on what clan I came from. So it was a clan and race penalty, I guess. Um, but yeah, so there's like different. Like, but then also there's like, like, y there's so many specific and cool things, like each race being different. And it's the same thing with humans. Like, like, if you're like, you're from a certain area, you might have different benefits. Like if you're black, like the sun, the, like if you're black or brown skinned, well, yeah, if you're just a darker skin tone, you tend to uh, absorb less UV rays which means you, you burn less and you're protected from the sun more, but it also means you get less vitamin from the sun overall. So you need to have more sun exposure, but you also take less damage, like your skin gets less damage from the sun. While vice versa, if you're lighter skinned, uh, you need to have more protection from the, the sun, um, but you also absorb more, nutri more nutrients from the sun uh, quicker. So if you spend only, say, half an hour in the sun, you might absorb more, most of your daily needs. But if you're a darker skinned person, you might need to spend twice that time or like an hour and a half out in the sun to get most of your, your daily um, 
vitamin uh, absorption needs from the sun. I can't remember if it's vitamin E, D, or I don't know which ones, but there's quite a few things. Um, but, you know, there's just stuff like that. I mean, there's actual true kind of stuff. And same thing, like, it's just saying, like, orcs, orcs are more aggressive. And they want to take that away. They want to take away, like, the rage, the rage thing. Now, anyone, now you can be, you can be a human with the rage benefit or the berserk benefit instead of just the orcs. Um, I mean, there's other ways to get the berserk benefit. Like, you can be a certain class type that might get the berserk benefit, right? So you could be a human with a berserk benefit. But if you were an orc, you just naturally would get the berserk benefit. So it's weird to be, like, say, an orc mage. Because, I don't know, I'm, there might be certain things that orcs are technically worse at. Just naturalistically. Like, they have less, less of a quality towards magic. Or less towards negotiation and wisdom or something because they're more aggressive and just the way that their body like just the way animals have a similar similar thing a whale just you know they're they are an intelligent species orcs versus gnomes versus humans like a gnome can't be a giant a giant and a gnome are two different like a whale and a deer are different they have different things and they would have different benefits and minuses and now they're trying to say the same thing. Humans, even within human races, but human cult, yeah, races. Um, I know races are very, I, I don't know where they come from, but you know, if you're darker skin or have a different uh, DNA, if you have different, if you have, when you say DNA, like you have different genetics, that's what I meant. If you have different genetics, like if you're an Ashkenazi Jew, you have certain medical things you have to worry about. If you're Sub-Saharan African, you have certain things to worry about. If you're, uh, like European Caucasian if you're something like Nordic uh, if you're like from the Norwegian area versus someone that's like from the Spanish Spanish, Spanish Mediterranean area you have different things like it, like Nordic people have different medical things to worry about versus Spanish Mediterranean people um, you know Spanish Mediterranean people tend to have a little bit more olive darker skin so they're more protected versus Norwegian people or from the sun, that is, versus Norwegian people, which are very pale. They might even have different dietary needs sometimes. Um, if, like, if you're from that area, like, you need to, to eat certain things more often. Um, or you're more likely genetically dis dispositioned towards having certain things, like higher chances towards cancer. Or, like, a lot of, Amer I think, black Americans that are sub-Saharan have, like, a liar higher chance towards gout um, just because of genetics. Um, that's why you have to be careful. Like, a lot of them do eat things like fried food, like in the South specifically, eat a lot of things like fried food and stuff like that, and like high in oily content and fat. And they have to work, you have to be careful about that because things like gout, it can lead to things like gout. Um, I, I don't know if I'm, some of the information might be slightly wrong. I'm talking, I, this is information from scientists and people that I've, heard some of it might be slightly wrong like i don't know if if it's specifically fried food and oil that leads towards gout but i know like i think like black people um i say black people i think it's sub-saharan africans that tend to have uh, a higher chance towards gout i know ashkenazi jews i think specifically or certain a certain genetic group of jews because they're from uh, like they lived in germany for a long time and had a lot of genetic mixing there have uh, a very particular genetics that lead they have a higher chance towards a certain uh disease I, I i thought it was cancer or something there's 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 something i can't remember what it is um maybe it's a heart condition but usually if you live in different areas you have certain dispositions if, i'm sorry not just live but if your your genetics if your lineage is from a certain area uh, your your lineage, your race, and everything is from a certain area. You tend to have certain uh, disp dispositions, like you have a higher chance or a lower chance towards certain issues. Um, similar towards like uh, living in like uh, if you live in Japan or uh, Korea. I don't know a hundred percent a lot of those ones, but then like in Japan, like a lot of them tend to eat like a lot more higher a higher fish diet. In a certain area, and a lot of times um, they have a lot of uh, healthier, uh, healthier stuff. But then I can't, I can't remember. Like, oh, there's a genetic thing for certain Asian people that it's harder for them to break down alcohol 
And that's an actual thing, I believe. I think that's a real thing. I don't think that's just a, a stereotype. I think that is a real thing. If it's not harder for them to break down alcohol, like, it it actually, there's a, it's called rosacea, where it actually, the their face get, their cheeks and face, it, a lot of them, it gets red in their face. I think that's an actual thing. Um, like an actual genetics thing. It, I think it's because it's harder for them to break down that your their face gets red and flushed a lot quicker than most people. Um, it's represented all the time. I mean, it's even re it, even if it is a stereotype, but I don't think it is. I think it's an actual thing. Something rosacea. I can't remember what it's called, but I think that's an actual thing. Um, I don't. I, I don't. Don't. Don't know if it na naturally means they tend to get. Uh, um. Uh, drunk faster than say like Germans or something I'm not sure but I know there's an actual physical effect uh, of alcohol um, of certain you know certain genetics I don't know if it affects Koreans more than Japanese like uh, of Japanese uh, or Chinese but there is certain certain uh, Asian genetics that it does uh, affect um, I think that's a real one. I, that one, I'm not 100% on. But there are, there like, like some people are going to be like, you're talking, I just you're talking, you're like you're you're being racist or something. But there, but it's not. But I'm not. Like there are. If you have different genetics, if your if your culture, if your lineage and culture came from a specific place, and those people, not like inbred, but just like villages and people from a certain area bred together for a long time. Um, the versus people say in Africa or people in somewhere in the Middle East or Asia, the the body adapts and changes, and will have your diet. Diet also is very important on there. Diet, sunlight, um, uh, climate, a lot of that kind of stuff adapts to a lot of those things. And then if you have a very low fat diet, and then all of a sudden fat gets increased, your body not may not be able to uh, to break down as much fat, or vice versa. If you have a very high fat diet, like the, like a, a Alaskan people do, and Eskimos, and certain areas because they need the high fat because they burn it very quickly, and then they do not eat a lot of fat. They might have a, they might get malnutrition because they need that high fat diet, um, or their body just might be naturally better at burning fat because their body because that's how it's worked for years and years but anyways that's my my point is is that's an actual interesting cool thing about humans and the world and stuff and they're trying to, and they take they and then there's like racial these racial benefits and interesting things in uh dungeons and dragons and then they go and try to take them out because they call them racist well they, they might as well just call people racist because their bodies are different well because you're because you're sub-Saharan African, you have a higher chance of heart disease. Um, I think it's heart disease and gout. Um, if you you know you have a higher chance of that, or certain medications actually have, sometimes certain medications affect certain races or certain genetics. Or I say races, but it's a shortcut for just genetics. Um, because if you look a certain way, usually your your genetics tend to be a certain way. Um, then, um, you know, there are certain medications that affect the people of certain genetics differently. There is certain medication they will give differently to black people than, uh, not just all black people, but like if you're from a certain genetics of black people, they will give to you versus a certain, uh, genetics of white people, uh, because it literally just might affect you differently and it might be a better medication for you. Um, and so like a doctor might be like, well, this medication has been known uh, to help with these things or these genetic mark work with these genetic markers a little bit better than these ones, so they might give you a different uh, um, medication. And like I said, it's interesting that they want to just call that racist. They just want to call, like you just might because people are different in general, and you can go from the individual is different, then the cultural group is different then the genetic and the genetic the gen, gen and then we go on genetic lineage and and stuff is different you might as well just say people are racist for being different in general um and it's unfortunate and 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 those things that make certain games unique like tr like certain uh, racial traits 
I mean, they could have just called them cultural traits instead of racial traits. Like, if you were, like, what they could do is if you're a human that was grown, that grew up in an orc, in an orc camp, say, like, say you were a human that got taken into an orc camp and they treated you as a slave or they, some, you, you got adopted into an orc family and you lived as an orc family, you will also have that, like, you might not have the same, maybe if it's a cultural learned thing versus like an actual physical DNA genetics thing, um, you could, might also have a similar berserk. You know, maybe they could turn them to cultural things instead of quote unquote racial traits. They could be cultural traits, I guess. Maybe the racial thing, because um, I guess race I think is a depend is dependent. I I don't know what the argument about race is. I'd have to someone would have to really tell me. I know some people say it's a total made up bullshit thing. I think it's not entirely. I know people use race, but I think it's a mixture of appearance and culture. It's a mixture of things. Um, but then also, then over time, certain stereotypes or certain things have been included. Um, a lot of bad things have been based upon it, uh, which is just true in all fashions, to be honest. Bad things have been based on genetics also. Um, but anyway, sorry, that was a ramble, but just don't, don't take them out. The game, the game is good. It had, the racial traits had nothing to do to be based upon being racism or any kind of evil intent. I have no idea. It has nothing to do with Nazis. Simply mentioning race has nothing... Every time you mention race doesn't have to jump straight to Nazism or whatever. Uh, it, people get so... I think we need to bring about when the word race is mentioned. I think it needs to be considered a shortcut term nowadays rather than a racist term or automatically... Like, in parentheses, everyone imagines... Uh, evil or something it that needs to be taken away and just seeing the word race i think the, the the word race needs to be toned down back to its neutral stance that it should be um i mean if there is a better word then i guess like a, a some that maybe there, maybe there's a scientist i would prefer like a scientist somebody that's a scientist or somebody that might be able to um uh, tell me, but again, I think I think it a it just kind of shortcuts. It's a shortcut, simple, simplified term. So, all right, we're back to the game. I apologize. I'll I'll put a skip over for this part if no one wants to do it. I listen to it, but I, I still think it's interesting. I think uh, the D and D I like having in D and D. I'm glad it's still in this game. I I found that uh, cool being able to choose benefits and stuff like that, or like my character has a certain benefit negative. So. As you step into the chamber, your vision seems to darken, and your knees buckle. You struggle to keep your balance. The air in here is laden with the power coming from the stone. Suddenly, your head is filled with choices. Oh, choices. Voices screaming, whispering, crackling, threatening. Voices pleading for help, shrieking curses and taunts. You blink, and the illusion passes. Hmm. Congratulations. You made it all the way here. I kind of want her to be this part of our party. She looks like she's got a very similar tiefling body. What are you planning to do now? Hmm? Like, what I mean is, I really wish we could have made her, our tiefling a little bit more look like this. Nice if you could die in battle like heroes. No. I still would have gone with. I want you to die in despair, scrabbling around like rats in the blighted ruins of your city, blind and broken, your flesh. Scabbed and seeping, and every moment knowing precisely what was done to you. There isn't a soul that can resist the temptations of the abyss. Even a stone can be turned. I'm not joking. Your precious ward stone, weakened from the injury inflicted by Discari, has almost succumbed to my charms. Soon the whole barrier around the world wound, the gift of your useless goddess, will be a weapon of the abyss. Just a little more, and boom! <laughs> Every city with one of these eyesores stuck in the middle of it, from Canabras to Nerosian, will turn into smoking craters, and all the mortals into red sludge beneath our hooves. So you have a choice. Especially you, my pet. 
kiss me on my dainty hoof, pledge your loyalty to Baphomet, and when the world falls, its ruin shall be yours. You've already forgotten me. You mortals have awfully short memories, and even shorter than your little lives. Staunton, sweetums, don't you want to introduce me to your friends properly? No? Well, I'd better do it myself. I am Minago, Lily Two and faithful servant of Baphomet, and leader of his armies. This city is mine now. I'm just starting to settle in, get things just how I like them. But once I'm finished, I promise you, the results will be simply to die for. Lily Two's a subversive and hidden horror horrors, demons who work subtly in their constant quest to destroy and devastate Lily Twos enjoy few things more than leading mortals into all manners of sinful acts in the hope that when the mortals perishes their souls will fuel the abyss. The exact nature of sin that a Lily Two attempts a mortal into committing varies for those these demons are adept at reading mortal desires and secrets, quickly discerning which sins a specific target target can be evinced to perform. Lily Twos possess a hideous ability. They can turn their victims into husks mobile and desiccated bodies that do not actually die but deserve, deserve their life and conscious abilities can assume the form of their husks. Let you can assume the form of their husks, stealing their face and appearance, treating their poor victims like a living wardrobe. Ooh. And it was such a charming little place until you sullied it with your presence. It had such lovely boulevards, quiet and shaded. You took those away from me, and I shan't forgive you for that. They've done much worse things than spoil the promenades. All the people they've killed. Yes, yes, of course, you're right. I grieve for the common folk as well. Between the holy flame erupting from your hand, you light also gets brighter and brighter until it floods the chamber. You hear the voices again, stronger now. You repeat the words like a choir of angels who performed an action that was good. Hey, no eyes! Didn't you tell us that heaven had turned its back on us and no one would come to our aid? I'm done with this shit! I only followed this hoofed menace because I thought the Crusaders had had it! And there was no other way to protect my family. But now I see that there is hope. I won't bow before these heinous idols ever again. If they kill me, at least I'll die a decent death. Yes! Return to our side, friends! Have courage! We will welcome you back. And heaven never abandoned you, no matter what this deceiver told you. Turncoat, I'll cut out your heart. We'll see how tough you really are. We let you frighten us once, but it won't happen again. This will be quick. Oh, we got two of them to turn. Nice. Don't hold back. I'll cut you wide open. Wait, what? myself there. Strike. I have to hit a twenty to get her. 
You should have run. They'll beg me to stop! The light! Take you! Oh, I didn't want to do that. Well, that was a waste. Dude, I have to hit a 20 to hit her. This poor guy is going to die. Come on, Sam. There we go. Ghost Den. I was gonna say, why did he get a hit? Don't worry about me. Okay, did I lose two people? Who did I lose? Damn it. This will hurt. No match for me. Nice. Stanton's getting bonuses. No! No! That's it. I'm tired of playing around now. You want to know what will happen when I'm done with the Wardstone? Here's a little demonstration. I'm guessing this was an unwinnable fight. I just had to take out her. Demus whispers a spell, and a wave of darkness sweeps through the chamber. Your companions wince in pain, but it is nothing compared to what you feel. Thousands of voices once again burst into your mind, drowning in their moaning screams and sobs. Pain rocks through your skull. Iomade is with us! Yes, yes. Keep telling yourself that. 